Hello friends, welcome. Today I am going to talk about the phone, budget phone actually, which is released from Google. That is Google Pixel 4a. And I will also talk about uh, Google Smart Speaker Nest Audio. Let's jump in. Before we jump in, I have a small request. If you are new to my channel, please subscribe and share it with your friends. At the end of this video, I'm going to tell on which technologies I'm working on for my next videos. Please subscribe, hit the bell icon and do comment about this video. You are watching Tech Look Around the World with KDR. Finally, we are getting a budget phone from Google which is a Google Pixel 4a. It is going to cost you around $349 in US and other regions and in India you are going to get it for 29,999 rupees through Flipkart. I think there are some offers, a 2000 discount, please do check it out in the Flipkart page. I am going to post the links in the description. In the box, you are going to get phone of course, Google Pixel 4a, I will talk about it later. We get 18 watts uh, USB-C power adapter which is in white color. You also get a Type-C to Type-C USB cable. SIM card ejector tool and one Type-C to Type-A USB adapter and of course some documentation if you want to read whenever you have time. Let's check out the phone design and these are the dimensions of the phone. The width of the phone is 69.4 uh, mm, in inches it is uh, 2.7 and it is very handy to hold in the hand. Height of the phone is uh, 1440 mm and 8.2 mm thickness. On the back side, you get one primary camera, flashlight, a fingerprint scanner and a Google logo. That's it. On the side, you have a power button and volume rockers which can be operated easily with the thumb. On the other side, you get a SIM card tray. On the bottom, you get a charging port and a speaker holes for your stereo output. On the top side, you get a 3.5 mm audio jack. I'm sure everyone will love it. And a microphone hole. Pretty neat, nothing else. Simple, elegant. I like it. Let's check out the other options. This phone comes in one color, which is uh, Google named it as a just black. Not black, just black. That's it. Only one color, guys. The display we're going to get is a full screen FHD plus 5.8 inches OLED display with a punch hole for selfie camera. And this display offers you a resolution of 1080 by 2340 at 443 pixels per inch. It gives you an aspect ratio of 19.5 uh, is to 9. It also offers you always on display. Display also offers 1 lakh is to 1 super contrast ratio, 24 bit depth, 16 million colors. In the camera section, you get a 8 megapixel selfie camera with uh, aperture f2.0 and it gives you 84 degree field view and the main primary camera in the back side is a 12.2 megapixel camera and it offers you a dual pixel technology the camera is going to offer you optical image stabilization along with electronic image stabilization as well that means they both work together to give you a very good crisp picture without any blur and it has a f1.7 aperture and 77 degree field view so with this camera you can record either a 1080p or a 720p resolution videos and you have a flexibility of recording the video in 30 or 60 or 120 frames per second not only that google also offering you a photo editing portrait app which will give you a suggestion depending on the picture. These are some of the pictures posted by Google. I'm sure they all are processed to enhance the color and other stuff but remember to get such wonderful pictures you need to have a good camera right? This phone will give you that good camera. If you want to learn more about how to use this phone for the photography like a low light or uh, night photos or motion photos etc 
Google has some documentation and uh, a link is there in the description. Please go through it. This phone offers you Android 11 right out of the box and Google is going to give you three years of updates and security patches. The UI design is neat and clean. You don't find any unwanted apps, junks, etc. Coming to the processor, this phone offers you Qualcomm Snapdragon 730G processor, 64-bit octa-core processor it is, and offers you 2.2 GHz plus 1.8 GHz. That means different cores operates at different speeds. It also has Adreno 618 GPU for your gaming stuff. It offers you a Titanium security module as well. Please note that this phone does not support 5G. Google released another Pixel 4a phone with a 5G support as well. I will cover in another video. This phone has a 6GB of RAM and you get uh, around 128GB of internal storage to give you performance and the storage which is sufficient for the most of the use cases. Google is going to offer you a 3 months free of 100GB cloud storage. After 3 months I think you need to purchase the subscription. It comes with a 3140mAh battery to give you all day usage. It supports uh, fast charging with the 18 watt adapter that comes along with the phone. Though it supports a dual SIM, you can only use one physical SIM that is a nano SIM card and the other one is eSIM card. Let me give you pros and cons. In the pros, because this phone is from Google and the components they have used like the Snapdragon processor and the 6GB RAM, you don't see any performance issues and you can use it for a very longer period, guaranteed. In the cons, let me give you, and the, these are all my personal opinion. So, uh, first one is the camera. Remember, the 12.2 megapixel camera is going to give you 77 degree field view. A wide angle camera would have been a better option. Maybe if they include a dual camera, that would have attracted more people to buy. The second one is uh, water resistance. It is not going to withstand with water. So you have to be careful with the water. Third one is wireless charging. It is missing. Let's talk about Google smart speaker, which is an Stadio. Let's check it out what it is going to offer you. These days, smart speakers are getting popular. Nest Audio is the smart speaker from Google. Earlier, Google released the Google Mini, Google Home, right? So it, this is the next version of after Google Home. In this Nest Audio, Google made a lot of changes. Like it contains a 75mm woofer and a 19mm tweeter, which will give you a crisp room feeling sound. Google says it has a 75% louder sound than google home and 50 percent stronger bass i'm sure you will definitely enjoy music with this smart speaker it is going to cost you around 99 dollars in us and other regions and uh, 7999 rupees in india as a launching offer i think google is going to give you for 6999 rupees please check it out they are very much compatible with the streaming services like spotify etc you can configure it and for your privacy, there is a mute button at the back side of the speaker. I am posting the links in the description. Please check it out. I am posting the links in the description. Please check it out. So that being said, let me know your thoughts in the comment section. And uh, I forgot for my next videos, I'm working on iPhone 12 and OnePlus 8T. Don't miss them. Uh, if you like the video, please subscribe my channel and uh, share it with your friends. Please subscribe to TechLoop KDR channel for more informational and technical videos. Till then, stay safe with mask.